Oh shit! Hey yo, I didn't see y'all there. I wasn't taking a shit. Welcome to a new video, man. It's your boy, Young Mike, man, the youngest of the mics. And today is a special video. It's a little windy outside, man, but I thought I'd take y'all to the nature. Straight, pure, raw video how I used to do. And we talking about the story of Ruga. As you can see in the title, I ain't talking about a gun. No, not a Ruga gun, nope. My nigga Ruga, man. Shout out to Ruga. And his story is legendary. I don't know why I haven't told his story before. I just feel like he deserves it, you know? So today, kick back, chill, don't pop a pill, keep it real, and, and we're going to do the deal. You feel me? I see this bad boy. I got this bad boy on there. Them uh, 20 folks right there. They, they 20s, but I keep them clean. You feel me? Them ain't 20s, but it's off the hook. Check it out, y'all. My beanie. Got a little bleasy, you feel me? Anyway, today we're going to talk about Ruga Man. Why we in nature. Just for y'all. Rest in peace, Ruga, first off. Second off. If he was here today, though, I promise you, he would have been eating crazy just like me. Because we all have that hustling mentality. He was one of those people that you catch him pulling up in a minivan. Man, it's a long story. We're going to talk about it today. So, Ruga, man, where the hell did Ruga come from? How did I meet him? Where? Everything, right? So, back then, man, when we were wilding and we was on the block every single day, we met a few people, you understand me? So, a few people met a few people, and we all had our little circle, you feel me? So, it was me, him, I'm saying initials because I'm not going to say everybody's name, but if I did, I mean, it would just be me, Eric, Muhammad, Jizzle, Mo, Dodi, uh, Ruga, AY. My brother and me. That's it. Pretty much like 10 people. That's it. Every single day. Just us. Oh, my nigga Bam. Shout out to my nigga Bam. Anyway, all of us. That's it. So, Ruga was one of them. Ruga, shout out to fucking Ruga, man. He was one of the people that we hung around with every single day. He just kind of came on the block. And he was cousins with someone that lived on that block. Not cousins, my bad. He was dating a girl that was on that block and lived with her. So, he stayed on that block. And that person was literally my neighbor, like across from me, my neighbor. So I chill with Ruka every single day. And every time I was in the mix, he was in the mix, you know, and that's just what it was. So how I really started chilling with him was we just started slaying dope together, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Ruka, man. We just started not, I ain't slaying the dope, dope. I slaying, you know, the weed, but he's slaying the dope and shit and the weed. So we'll kind of be like in the same ball game, have the same type of custos, etc. And I was a little dumbass kid back then, you know. Catch me with a little ass revolver the size of my fucking, literally the size of my fingers. <laughs> and I was just wilding, bro. I, I was just, you know, doing my thing. And I just, I remember chilling with Ruka, man, just seeing him all the time. Paul and lean with him. Man, I remember one time we in a bando, me, Ruga, and E. And we in a bando, we bagging up work and shit, and we just doing our thing. And Ruga, he had a Ruga. It's so ironic. Before he had a Ruga, he had a 22 Glock. And I was stupid as fuck because I was like, hey, yo, uh, would you wanna trade me that Glock? I'll give you $200 plus my two revolvers. So, like, it's a good deal. And he was like, he, he didn't wanna trade it. So he ended up trading that Glock for a Ruga, which is ironic because Ruga is, has Ruka. So, anyway, we in the bando, we bagging up work, and he got a Ruga, right? So, yeah, man. I bet you good? Yeah, down. This is like, yeah, but it's chill. I'm just trying to like find like a... Sorry, y'all, we got a new camera person. And she's new, so give her some credit. 
me and the damn band though, he's talking to me. He, he's he's looking at his little gun shit. I think he's taking the clip out and just fucking with it, you know. We just bored. And um he's like, if I ever go broke or no, he didn't say that. He said if I ever fall off, I'm finna I'm finna use this to get back on. And he looked at us, me and my homie E, he's like, but nah, don't worry about it. he's like, nah, I I would've never fuck with y'all. He's like, this is for everybody else. And I was like, hell yeah. And just that being said, bro, it's like, people is cool when you know them. But if you don't know them, bro, they still could be cool. You just don't know a nigga. You can't be doing shit. You know what I'm saying? So after he tells me that shit, we chilling in the bando. And you just hear the keys, bro, in the motherfucking bando, bro. Like an apartment bando. We just see this nigga walk in, bro. It's like the maintenance guy. And we just look at each other and we just fucking hop out the back. Boom. Jump out the back of the bando and ran from the damn maintenance, bro. And this is the fun shit I remember Ruger doing, you know. He did his little slimy, grimy shit, and we all did that, you know, in the hood. But I can't really talk about his slimy, grimy experiences because it's not my my business. But everything that happened around me, I'm going to tell you about. So we'll, we'll be in the bandos. We'll be hustling all every day. One day I seen him on the block, he pulls up in this minivan. It's a legendary minivan, bro, because when you got in this minivan, your head will get all fucked up, bro. Like, if you had a hat on or a beanie or anything, y'all, real regular hair, he had, like, a headliner on in this minivan that was kind of hanging. So when you got in there, that shit just scraped your head. It just left a bunch of fucking minivan headliner on your head, bro. <laughs> But it was legendary, and, like, we was in that motherfucking van hopping out, sliding doors on niggas, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What you need? Uh, uh, uh. Duh, duh, duh. Boom, man. And I remember Ruka every day. I'm at the store. It's just like a regular thing to me, just seeing him pulling up at the store. Just seeing my nigga Ruka was just normal, and it just, it just felt like... You know, like, because I only chill with 10, 11 niggas, bro, so. It, 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 what I'm trying to say is, basically, that that was one of my main niggas, basically. I chill with every day. And there was one day, man, Halloween. I fucking, you know, this, one day on Halloween, I actually pulled in with him for the last time. So, I pulling up lean with Ruka, and we, I think he bought a deuce, and I ain't even pulled lean, I didn't buy lean myself, my homie E, he pulled me up, and I thought that was the realest shit, cause like, when your nigga pull you up, bro, out of love though, you didn't ask, you ain't look at the shit or nothing, to me that's, that does not even define a nigga, but my nigga E was a real one, so, we put up on, on oh boy, Ruka, and we served him up. He wanted a deuce. And we sipping lean, man. And I just remember chilling with him. This was my last time chilling with him. And we had to go make some plays, you feel me? So Halloween was booming that day. I remember I left the crib with two zips. And something told me not to bring my straps because I was riding with my niggas, you know. Y'all heard the story, the Halloween story. But long story short, I get locked up that day. I never get to see my nigga Ruga after that day, right? So I get locked up and I get a phone call in jail, bro. And you know who was crazy is I wasn't even supposed to get a phone call that night. That night was like at 10 at night and the phone calls were done like early, bro. They don't do phone calls like after 7 in juvenile. So the mall leader let me call and the person I'm calling tells me the news. They said, Ruka got shot. And in my head, I'm like, damn. And I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. I said, in my, in my cell, I said, damn. Take me instead, Lord. I said, that nigga don't deserve that shit. I said, take me, boom. I'm crying in my cell, bro. This shit the worst feeling ever, bro. You just got off the phone call. You thinking it's a happy phone call. You, you calling a free to see what y'all niggas are doing, whatever the fuck, you know? And you get a call saying your nigga got shot in the head, he's on life support. 
So I get another phone call and his mom has the right to take him off life support, basically to pull the plug on him, what they called it. And I told myself, you know, Ruger's strong, bro. Every time I knew Ruger, he don't know weak nigga, bro. He's a strong nigga, bro. He gonna fight that shit, you feel me? So I feel like he could fight it. It just didn't seem real to me, bro. This is really like some out of nowhere type of shit, you know? So I get another call probably like a week later. And they tell me that they went to go visit my boy. And they said that Mike said, yada, 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 you know. And that he moved a little bit when I said that, when they told him that, you know what I'm saying. But, like, damn, that's what I'm saying. Like, my nigga Ruka, bro, he's strong, bro. That nigga, so. I don't think that. Th I. I wouldn't want my kid to be a vegetable or whatever the fuck they were trying to say either. But at the same time, Ruka is strong and he could have probably still been alive till today. You never know, bro. Don't listen to them doctors, bro. I don't. And if it's if, if you wrong, you wrong, but at least you tried, bro, you know. So I feel like his mom I I know disrespect to Ruka's mom, shout out to Ruka's mom. But I feel like she didn't want to bear that. She didn't want to let him live like that. It's two reasons to the shit. It's two sides to the shit. My side, though, I feel like, damn, he's stronger than that. And I wish I could have talked to his mom. But guess what? I'm in fucking jail. I'm juvenile. And now I just found out my nigga died. So now I'm more depressed, bro. Now I'm feeling fucked up. And I remember my nigga told me, man. I remember one of the last things he told me, bro. We were in the academy getting bullets, bro. And you know they have those big ass safes, bro. Them big ass safes, like they're about the size of you, or if not, they bigger. You feel me? So we see this safe. And he just tells me, "I just want a safe full of hunnies like that." Like that's his goal. That was his goal to get a big safe like that full of hunnies. And I tell you what, Ruga, we almost there. We almost there, watch, so we gonna get that shit right. And once I got that shit right, god damn, you know what I'm saying? We did it, you know? But that's my go too, man. We gotta go, we gotta do it, bro. Safe full of hundreds, man. We talking at least 10 M's, bro. Safe, you feel me? So shout out to Ruga, man. That's not even the, the end of it. So this is where it kind of began, you know? Cause this shit sparked a bunch of shit, Ruka. You don't know what you did, brother, but you changed my life forever, you feel me? So, I get out of jail, there's nothing in that better feeling. I had to take the bus home, you know what I'm saying, I'm broke as fuck. Lost all my clientele, I'm walking through the fucking apartments. What's up, boom, boom, what's up, hey, Mike, what's up? You got some? I'm like, nah, nah, right now. Boom, boom, hey, Mike, boom, boom, shake your hand. I'm talking about, I was hood famous, bro. Ask anybody you fucking know, bro. Ask anybody you fucking know, dog. I swear to God, I was hood famous before all these niggas say anything. I was that nigga selling everybody Doty, nigga. Doty gang, nigga. What you talk about? So, I got out of jail, and I seen everybody kind of change, bro. Ruga changed the game, you feel me? Like, my big homies telling me, man, they not robbing no more. They not doing no dumb shit no more. Cause of Ruga, man. Shout out to fucking Ruga, man. Rest in peace, my nigga Ruga. And so I started seeing this and seeing the sadness, bro. I got home, bro. I'm sad as fuck, bro. I'm sad as fuck. I'm on monitoring shit type shit. Staying at home. Sad as fuck. Bro, come on now. But you know what? I got my hustle on. I got my hustle on. I got my money loan. And I stopped robbing. I said, bro. I heard about niggas robbing and shit. I said, y'all ain't learn from Ruga. So what happened was, I found out the story about how my nigga Ruga died. And he got set up by the ops. So back then, man, we had ops, bro, which was like some dry, petty beef. You know what I'm saying? Like, these motherfuckers, I didn't know them. My nigga Eric, he got down for me. He fucking tried to fight cops for me. So I got this nigga's back, bro. Like, he got my back. You, you know what I'm saying? Anybody try to fuck with me, anybody that fucks with the gang, we all got each other's back. So I see these two niggas walking down with a damn bat and shit. 
and they looking for my nigga Eric. And so we see him, we're on this patio, we're on the balcony of a patio, and we just see these niggas, bro, and we're just like, my nigga E's like, hey, what's up, nigga? And then they're like, what's up? So basically they're looking for my nigga E too deep with a bat. So y'all about to fuck my nigga up with a bat. It's me and my nigga. Y'all want to bring weapons, nigga? You going to do it all the way, nigga. What the fuck you bringing a bat for, nigga? I pull out my 22 on him. My nigga like, bust these niggas. Bah, bah, bah. Whatever, you know. Started running, whatever. Started a war. Started beef, bro. Now they talking about they running around with choppers and shit. They talking about I got a little 22. Guess what, nigga? I'm out, I'm outside, nigga. I ain't running. I ain't hiding from nobody. I'm outside every day with my little 22. We could get it on, you know what I'm saying? I treat that bitch like automatic. Anyway, I'm outside, right? Boom. Every day. The beef was on. So every time we seen these niggas, they got beat up. If we seen any nigga that was repping they click, it don't care if they nigga knew who they were. If my nigga knew them from school. And once they say, oh, you teach whatever. I can't. I was about to say that shit. I was about to say the damn crew. Once they said your motherfucking name, drop. And it was not even broke. We driving down the street, and we see a nigga smirking at us. Fuck you laughing at, nigga. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I swear to God, man, y'all think I'm playing. This is sad, bro. It's it's really sad. It's fucked up. We were demons, bro. And it's sad that the laws ain't never did nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? We literally beat niggas up. Right in front of Starbucks. On the floor. Right there. In the grass. Bushes. Whatever. Boom. Twice, nigga, twice, right there, same spot. But what I'm trying to say is we was dummies, so we made beef happen. We made wars happen that were not even supposed to be a thing, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, we locked up. Me and E, the people who started this fucking shit, who started this war, are locked up. The ops hit my nigga Ruga up for some two zips, bro. My nigga died over two fucking zips of mid. Mid. And he would have never died if we were out. If he would have consented us and said, do you trust these niggas? We would have said, fuck no, them niggas is the ops. The people who set that, the person who set that cell up, I hope it eats them up every fucking day because you a dumbass nigga. You ain't even supposed to be hustling, nigga. It was all us who did this shit, you feel me? So that nigga was new to the game. He thought since it wasn't his beef, that he could serve these ops up. No, nigga. If you serving off the block they beefing with, they beefing with you too. They don't get that part. I'm talking about if you chilling with us, they want you too, bro. They don't care about you. They want to fuck your homies over. Why not? They broke ass niggas, bro. Trying to jack two fucking zips. Broke ass bitches. Pussy ass nigga. Look at me now. Pussy ass broke ass bitch. Running this shit, nigga. Y'all could never know more Zanny head ass, Robin Stowe's ass, pussy ass, broke ass, bitch ass niggas, bro. Y'all could never get like me now, nigga. And y'all see it. Y'all see me, nigga. Anyway. Bitch ass niggas. Set my nigga up. Foot up at the stove. I'm gonna play the clip right now. I put some candles at the stove for this new music video that might drop. I might just drop it just for that scene, bro. bro. See my nigga die. He was only 23, yeah Seen this too many times, yeah Cause the streets be on repeat I be lying, I ain't cry, yeah Can let it get the best of me, yeah And all the time, all the time, yeah Spend my last dime to see you smile, yeah If I had your number, you the one, I'ma die, yeah It's gonna be a cold summer, why you saw my dial, yeah And you had it up, bracelet, 30 thou, yeah No, I'm sorry, I'd have lost my feeling No, I'm sorry, I don't want
rest in peace, Ruger. Shot Ruger right there when they hopped out in the stomach. No, 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 no. Pause. Shot my nigga in the head. Ruger shot the other nigga in the stomach with the Ruger. You understand? So he shot that kid in the stomach. Ruger got shot in the head. They take off. Apparently, the nigga we was beefing with was the driver. You understand? His brother was the driver. So, if we were there, bro, that would have never fucking happened. So I learned, like, bro, this Robin shit, not only did that kid die, my nigga Ruga died. Their moms are in the same hospital telling each other they sorry and shit. Like some crazy shit. So nine years later, it's fucking crazy to say because it really feels like yesterday. And I learned so much, man. Because of Ruga, I stopped robbing. Like, and I, little did I know that that was going to make me succeed more than ever. You feel me? So I'm talking about I would go rob your grandma right now for her phone. And push her ass on the phone. It's not nothing to brag about. It's really fucked up. So, shout out to Ruka. He changed my life. He made my life better, you know. But, I just want to say one thing, if I could, to that, to that man is. You really never know who's going to be your motivation. And, and Ruka, I could, he was one of my motivations, bro. Like, not as far as... Like, how far he succeeded or anything like that. Just as far as, like, him keeping it real to the end. And dying to what? Dying for this shit, you know? I think the people that die for this shit, they really go down in history for this shit, you know? Now every time I get two sips, I be like, damn, niggas die over two sips. This is not no rules to this game. You could die over $300. You could die over two zips a mid. You gotta be safe, you know. I've been set up, man. This hood, the hood shit ain't no fun, bro. I don't care who you is. You gotta move smart. Real smart. If you're not moving smart, they're gonna eat you alive, bro. But Ruga, man, shout out to you, bro. Rest in peace. If you up there somewhere, Anything, you know, sometimes I feel like he's seen me and shit like that and sees me succeed sometimes. So if he watching me right now, I hope he proud because I mean, I don't think anybody thought I would make it this far. And I, I am now older than Ruka would have not would have been, but older than Ruka was. And I made it past that age and I'm blessed. You feel me? Thank God. Thank God, bro. Y'all. A lot of people think it's bad to go get old, but I think it's a blessing, you know, because bro, niggas don't see that, bro. Every day you see these people dying, bro. I'm so blessed to make it this far. I'm so blessed to see 2024. Oh my God, we crazy, right, y'all? So if y'all if y'all blessed, man, make sure y'all y'all drop a like to get blessed. You feel me? Because I'm a I'm a you know bless all y'all, bro. Uh, 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 shout out to okay. Ruga man and this is the story of Ruga the story times a lot of people didn't learn from his mistakes a lot of people were still robbing and I didn't tell y'all the secret secret part about what happened that day he gave he was still functional when he got shot in the head he gave Dodie the pistol that he killed that kid with and all his money so he had like seventeen hundred dollars that he had on him and he gave him the pistol probably even the two zips long story short that same kid is out here robbing bro with that same fucking pistol talk about robbing me and so that's that same kid who tried to kick down my door after Ruka died. 
So y'all see how the hood goes, man. If y'all enjoyed this story, man, make sure y'all drop a like, thumbs up real quick. Don't be a hater, bro. And subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell because YouTube has just been playing with my videos. I don't care. I don't even want to say shout out to YouTube no more. But shout out to YouTube. <laughs> Alright, so I'll see y'all on the next one, man. Oh.